Detroit is your local election headquarters, and in just three hours from now, President Biden and former President Donald Trump will go head-to-head -head in the first presidential debate of this election cycle. And there is another debate taking place tonight over whether Florida is still a battleground state. News Channel East Ty Russell has that story for us tonight. Ty. Yeah, Keith, Hillsborough Republicans say Florida is a solid red state. However, Pinellas Democrats say it's a battleground state. A political expert agrees that Florida is purple, and it may not be because of President Biden or former President Trump. Protecting our freedoms, protecting our way of life, fighting for democracy. That's the message Pinellas County Democratic Chair Jennifer Griffith wants President Biden to hammer on in the first presidential debate. The escalation you see with Russia and China and North Korea forming alliances, that didn't happen under President Trump. So I'm just really concerned about um, just the climate, the global climate as well, with wars and, and pending wars. Violence around the globe is a concern for Hillsborough County Republican Chair Carmen Edwards. She wants former President Donald Trump to hit that topic. America as a whole is dissatisfied with both candidates. And so we're trying to see, can they persuade us? Can they engage us? Can they behave like leaders? Political expert Tara Newsom admits the first debate may not move the needle. But I'm not necessarily sure any of us think that this is going to change anyone's mind. And in Florida, Biden and Trump may not be the driving forces to get people to cast a ballot. It may be the issues, Newsom says, that makes Florida a battleground state. But we're also seeing national organizations come. You know, Biden and Kamala Harris came early in the campaign, and they didn't come for no reason. They came because Amendment 4 is getting a lot of attention nationally. And statewide, close to 3.5 million people are registered under no party affiliation. And political expert Tara Newsom says that's who, is she, who she's watching, and she won't know how they will vote until the election. And this debate is going to be a little different. I mean, everybody's been talking about it. There's no audience. Mm -hmm. Some mics are going to be muted when uh, the candidate's not supposed to be talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're going to shut it off. Thank goodness. It'll be interesting to see how each of these candidates respond to that atmosphere, do you think? Yeah, I talked to Tara, New uh, Tara Newsom about that, and she says it may be former President Donald Trump having a more difficult time with that. She says he feeds off an audience, and most of these strict rules, she says, were proposed by the Biden camp and accepted by the Trump team. No doubt about it. Both gentlemen have to do well tonight. Oh, yes, they uh, it's, do. It's a big deal. Florida and beyond. Thank you, Ty. Mm -hmm. I know you'll be watching it. Oh, yeah. At 11, you'll be able to watch the debate right, right here on News Channel 8. NBC coverage and analysis begins tonight at 9 o'clock.